with our local climate change coverage. The researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium are certainly looking at how climate change is affecting the ocean, but they're not just looking at what's going wrong. They're also looking at what's going right. Sea otters are making a comeback, and that's helping the kelp forest. Here's Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad to explain. The Monterey Bay Aquarium has been studying sea otters for more than 30 years, rescuing and releasing the threatened species and promoting its recovery. But now researchers are looking at how these marine mammals may be doing some rescuing of their own. The southern sea otter eats a lot. With no blubber and only fur to keep it warm, the mammal has to constantly consume calories to stay warm. And what it goes after is mainly herbivores. By eating these things that eat plants, abalone, urchins, and crabs, they can, they can change the ecosystem quite a bit. Kyle Van Houten is the director of science at the aquarium, and he says otters are not just stewards of our oceans, they're also eco-engineers, and can help keep California's threatened kelp forests healthy and vibrant. One of the things we've seen in the past few years is a dramatic uh, die-off of kelp. Scientists so far, including us, we're looking into this question, haven't been able to fully explain why kelp has declined so much on the Pacific coast of the United States. Otters forage for the exact animals that go after kelp, including urchins, which have seen a huge boom in the Monterey Bay over the last few years. Van Houten says as the climate changes, some species will thrive while others will flounder. And as these booms and busts happen, otters will be able to balance the changes by eating up species that see a boom. You want to have a vibrant ecosystem that can defend itself against climate change and can bounce back after an extreme event, then the ecosystems need all of their historic component parts. And otters are a really important component to the way these ecosystems are engineered. Reporting from Monterey, Caitlin Conrad, KSBW Action News 8. Much more on the Global Climate Action Summit is available on our website and the KSBW News app.